Hope everybody's having a great day, a great night, depending on where you're at in the world. Hope you guys are enjoying everything, man. Enjoying life, man. Just enjoy it. Live it up to the fullest, man. Stop listening to what your TV says was life. Just live life. Look in the mirror. Look at your hands. You're in first person all the time. You are the only one that's full control of this vehicle, which is your life. Like and subscribe, man. Let's get straight to it. I appreciate Brian Danielson for every contribution he has shown us through his entire career of my lifetime that I got to see. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people may complain about how Danielson is being booked now. And, bro, I'm not about to take this for granted. It was once upon a time we all were saddened and hurt to find out that Danielson was going to have to retire. You all remember that? Horrible times. We One of the best rosters I've ever seen, ever. Literally, one of the best, I mean, technical rosters I've ever seen. He gives me so much of Chris Benoit vibes, yet he's so different from Chris Benoit. But... One of the best in-ring performers of any generation. He's given us his last year. And a lot of people may have a problem with him fighting guys you may not know that well. And this and that and the third. But, dude, I am going to appreciate everything because this is his last year. You got to really think about this. Next year, there's no more Brian Danielson in wrestling. Yeah, that sucks. No more Brian Danielson and professional wrestling? Yeah, a piece of the pie is leaving, bro. Think it, bro, bro. Not only he reminds me of Benoit, he got so many Kurt Angle layer, layer, uh, layers about him. He has Benoit entering technical believability. Like, Danielson really comes off as somebody that could really beat your ass. You heard about the story of somebody breaking in his house? He whooped his ass and tied him up on some Batman shit? That's what I'm saying. So that made it even more legit. He has a legitimacy of a Benoit and an angle, but he has the entertaining factor of a Kurt Angle. He could be goofy. He could be a heel. He could do it all. I'm not about to complain about dancing anything he's done. We're having a hell of a run. We're having a great last year. Danielson is doing what he does best. Put on good matches, putting people over. That's all he want to do. He don't care about winning the titles and... You know, he conquered what, obviously, what was his dream? He conquered it. Who gives a fuck how long he was champ? He done what he was not supposed to do. Danielson was never supposed to be a WrestleMania man eventer. That was never supposed to happen. We need to appreciate Brian Danielson, bro. Daniel Bryan, whatever you want to call him. We need to appreciate the guy, the yes guy, man. We got to appreciate him. I don't care what he's doing in this last run. This last one is great. I don't care. It's a great run. It's, he's doing, as a Daniel Bryan fan, he's doing what I want him to do. Put on good matches. Yes, I would, as me personally, I would, I would have loved to see him as world champ in AEW, at least for a month, even if it was a week. I would have loved to see him probably beat Eddie Kingston for the Continental Crown. But... At the same time, oh, well. Oh, well, man. Same thing with AJ Styles. I don't know if this is AJ Styles last year, but I know he's winding down. I can't get mad. AJ Styles was never supposed to be in WWE. You see the pattern? Brian Danielson, CM Punk, AJ, these guys was never supposed to conquer WWE. So we need to appreciate them. Our, our guys are getting older. That's life. He wants to spend time with his daughter. I I applaud that 100%. He's given us some of his best matches he can give us. Why get mad at it? Why not appreciate it? Why not? Why take it for granted? Because next year, this time, there's no more Dan Bryan, bro. So I appreciate you, Dan Bryan. You probably may never hear this. You probably probably will hear this and many others are appreciating you but i'm gonna give you your flowers now while you're still active while you're still in the ring you're still giving us bangers you're still beating your body up to entertain us 
I appreciate the shit, everything you have ever done for us in my lifetime of watching you since 2010, 11, when he showed up in WWE, when NXT was a reality show, horrible times. But I knew at that time, Daniel Bryan was a star. So yeah, man, I just got to, I just had to say, I appreciate Daniel Bryan. I'm giving him his flowers. Um, Keep on putting on great matches, man. Keep keep putting people over. Keep giving us great matches. If you're going to keep doing a couple of more matches, hopefully we can get that Darby Allen match out the way. Uh, what's another match I wouldn't mind him doing before he get out of, before he walks away? Um, I wouldn't mind a Jay White. I think that would be really good. I wouldn't mind another Samoa Joe match. Oh, my God. I really wouldn't mind that. He just go for a title shot. I, why not? You know, we know he ain't going to win. If it's so what, we know the match is going to be amazing. And him and Joe right now, um, I would like to get uh, uh, Danson and, well, they're giving us Will Ospreay. I mean, what more could I ask for? They already gave us Okada. I mean, it's not many people. Darby, Jay White. Shit, I can't think of anybody else. Darby, Jay White, and Samoa Joe, I would like to see him. If if there's any matches I would love to personal request, is Darby, Jay White, and Samoa Joe. If we could get those before he leaves. But if we if not, hey, applaud to Brian Danson for everything he's ever done for the business, man. Blood, sweat, and tears, broken bodies, ended his career for this business. Appreciate this fucking man. Appreciate what we have. I never thought my boy Edge would come back, bro. Those is heartbreaking times when I thought Edge, we were never going to see my boy Edge again. Heartbreaking times I never thought we was going to see Paige again. Let's appreciate them, man. We always got, that's what's wrong with the rest of the community. It's too fucking negative. We always focus on the negative shit all the time. I'm going to try to put some little bit more light. And I just got to say with this, instead of, Shitting on his last run. Let's be appreciative. Because, dude, we're not going to have him in another year, bro. In case he changes his mind or something. But, like, we're not going to have Brian Danielson matches ever again after this year. You know what that's going to be like? To never see this types of matches on TV ever again? It's hell of a great wrestler in AEW. But ain't no Brian Danielson's in AEW. And you can say overall character... A underdog make them believe in themselves there's those guys but a brian danielson there's only one and i appreciate you brian danielson like and subscribe tell me what y'all favorite brian danielson match y'all ever seen for any of his career um what y'all think of brian danielson daniel bryan whatever you call him like and subscribe man share dislike comment all that good shit we are out